Hello and welcome, I am Helle from Game for Life BG, and today I'm going to take a look at the little card game Ocean Great Barrier Reef. This is a game for 2 to 5 players, it takes about 25 to 45 minutes to play, and it's for the ages 8 plus. And in this video I'm going to explain the rules for the game. And in this game we are all marine biologists, and we are trying to recreate the Great Barrier Reef. We are competing in being the best at recreating the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Let's go to the table and look at the rules for the game. And here we have Ocean ready to be played. First you're going to shuffle all of these mission cards, and you're going to deal free to each player, and then you're going to place eight cards face up. Then you're going to shuffle all of these resource cards, you're going to give three to each player, and then you're going to place five face up. And then you're going to take these start cards, you're going to take one per player, and you will have to always use this card with the little clownfish, the Nemo fish. If you're two players, you're going to take two, three for three players, four and for five players. You're going to shuffle the cards and deal one to each player. So each player is going to get one of these cards and then three mission cards and three resource cards. And then you're ready to start the game. And I'm only going to show one player. And the player that got the little clownfish is going to be the start player. And they can do one of two things. Either you can draft cards or you can play down a mission card. You can either play one from your hand or you can play one from the open area. You can take any of them if you can complete it. First, we're going to look at drafting cards. So one action is you can choose is to draft cards. You can take two cards. You can take from the open area, or you can draft from the pile. If you take from here, you can perhaps take one card, and then you can take a second card. After you have taken your card, you're going to refill with new cards. You can also, instead, choose to take a joker card. This is a joker card that counts as any color. If you take a joker card from the open area here, you can only take one card. So if I took this, I could place this to my hand and then I would have to refill with a new and I would only get one card. You can also choose to draft from the pile. And if you here get a joker card, then it's okay. You can actually draft two joker cards, it doesn't matter. It's only if you take a joker card from the open area, you can draft one card. If at one point you have three joker cards out here, you're going to discard all the cards and place five new cards. If you have any time have five of the same cards, you're going to take all the cards, put them to the discard pile and then draft five new cards. And if you at any time run out of cards from your draw pile, then you're going to shuffle the cards and place them here for a new pile. So one thing you can do in the game is you can draft cards. Another thing is you can build cards and you're going to build from your start card. These here counts as a joker color. So this counts as any color. So when you build to this, you can build any color and then you will have a blue and you will have a red in this case with what I've built here. And uh, when you build, you can build any color or I can match it and I can flip the card to any side. So if I build so I match a color, then I will get a discount when I build and this will also be worth one point at the end of the game. Uh, so if I build here, then this doesn't count as any color, but if I build it here, then I would have completed a yellow color and that would be worth a point and I can use it for a reduced price when I build. So with this example, I have already played three cards. Then I want to build again, and I can choose a card from my hand, or I can choose any of these cards if I'm able to build it. So perhaps with these cards I would like to build this one we have here. And this one is worth two points, and it requires two white, two red, and four of one color. So for this one, I might want to build it and place it here. I need, I need two red, I already have two red here. So there I don't need any red, but I need two white and four of a color. On my hand, I could use the four blue and then a joker, or I could oh, I could use the three blue and the joker. No, I actually have a blue here, so I can use these four. So that is four blue. And then I just need to pay two 
of the white and I have one on my hand and then I can use a joker. So these I will put to the discard pile and then I can build this card and I could place it on any of the sides but it will be most beneficial for me to place it on this side so I complete this color so I now have the white gray color. So I have a reduced price on white gray, blue, red and then red and these two also counts as one point. So at the moment this player has two, three, four, five, six, seven points on their table. And after you have built, you will refill with a new objective. And you're going to play the game until a player has made six of these, where you have one of each of the different colors. These with the joker does not count. At the moment this player has blue, gray, green, gray, white, yellow, red, and green, they only need to make the black if they make this one, then they would have made all of the six different colors and that is an end goal and then the game would stop. But all players will get the same amount of turns, so if I as the start player finish the game in one of these three conditions, then all other players they will also get their turn. So if I build this one, I would have completed the top objective. It could also have ended if I had built any other card where I would now have more than 20 points, that is also a way the game can end. Then in this case here, I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, plus six, 15. And then each of these will count a point. Uh, so we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This does not count. This is not the same color. So here I would have 21 points. That is also a way the game can end. The game can also end if you build five cards to each side. So here if we build this one and then maybe we build this one afterwards. Let's build this one. Maybe we completed that one. Then we would have 10 cards, five on each side. That is also a way that the game can end. So when someone has finished one of these three ways that the game can end, then you're first going to look at, has anyone built this where they have all the six different colors? That will win over having built the 10 cards or having most points. If there is one or more players that have built all the colors, if there is more than one, then you're going to count who has the most points and that player is going to be the winner. If no one has built the six different colors, then you're going to look at, has anyone built all 10 cards? Then they're going to win. And if there are more than half, you're going to count, calculate their points and the one with the most points is then going to win. If none, none of the players have finished the game with the six different colors or with 10 cards, then it's the player that has the most points that is going to win the game. And uh, that is the way you play Ocean. You're going to draft cards and you're going to draft a lot at the start of the game and then you're going to build. And as you build, you're going to get a reduced price for the different colors that you have completed. Uh, so it's going to be easier for you to build more of the different cards because you're going to get a reduced price. And when you have met any of the win conditions, then the game is going to end. All players will have the same amount of turns and the player that has done the best or has ended up with the most points is going to win the game. And that is how you play Ocean.